How's it going, guys? Toasty Bros here. You've probably been told, don't build your PCs near carpet, near a cat, or you've been told to wear one of those ESD strips on your wrist whenever you build a PC. But today, we're not going to follow any of those rules. We're actually going to build a PC on carpet, around a cat, and not wear a strip. So, are we going to kill some hardware? Maybe. Probably. But are we going to enjoy doing it? Yes, we are. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Gamer Subs is a sugar-free, great-tasting energy formula for gamers and workaholics alike. We here at the Toasty Bros love the energy it provides while tasting great. Want to give it a shot? Get a free trial by using the link down below and use code Toasty Bros on your next full order for 10% off. Alright guys, so we're going to be building around carpet, around a cat, and just all sorts of different ESD stuff. So. One little fun fact is that the human body can feel about a 2,000 volt zap, or a, a 2,000 ESD charge, and you can fry hardware with only 20 volts of ESD, so it's pretty invisible as far as uh, knowing if the ESD something goes until you go to turn it on, and you're like, oh, it doesn't work now. So we have an ASRock A320M HD, but it's AM4, it can handle the AM4 APUs, and it's probably not fairly overclockable or anything, but it was like 40 or it was like 50 or 60 bucks. So really cheap for an AM4 board. Kind of going out of order here, we have this nice little red um, light strip. And because this build's gonna be kind of like a red theme, you're gonna know this EGA 450 BT. So this is your just standard 450 power supply. I think it's made. Yeah, it's bronze, bronze certified, which is gonna help a little bit more in the uh, ESD field here. We have an A12. 9800 so this is a totally new to me apu it's 4.2 gigahertz and has two megabyte cache has r7 integrated graphics so this, this will be interesting it might be good might not be we have some hyperx fury and then for the actual os drive we have a 60 gig this is actually not silicon power point it's team elite group which is the people who make a lot of the new ram and stuff like that and they've they've proven to be a pretty good uh, company so we're going to test that out too this is a JAX or JAX 12BK DIY PC case because we love DIY PC, please sponsor us. Um, so this is a mid-tower case and can't remember exactly what it looks like but I'm sure it has some red and black in it. So we're going to start building right now as you can tell we're going to touch the cat for good luck and some extra static yeah. <laughs> and we're going to go <laughs> ahead and instead of normally testing the system outside like most people do. I think we're just going to go ahead and start transplanting it into this build. We might go ahead and just put the CPU in the motherboard at least, or just something like that outside the case, if that's what you yeah, want to do. Yeah, usually, yeah, you, yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking, is we'll go ahead and do the motherboard outside the case. Yeah. <laughs> it does make life a little easier. Not really, that's kind of the easiest way. Good work. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, and stuff? Just, what screw just fell? Is that one of the mother, one of the motherboard screws? It might have already, that might have been that I dropped. Oh. Right there, here. Yeah, motherboard in place, got the CPU, uh, power pins ran, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back down before we forget, um, we just ran the IO switch, or the, the uh, front cables, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, the power button reset, um, hard drive LEDs and power LED, getting ready to figure out if we're going to run this fan down through the bottom or what because we're you know here on the toaster we strive for cable management so definitely still keeping that in mind along with uh, the uh, ESDing we're doing here so yeah <laughs> Ready? 
All right, Matt, look. This hole right here. Here's a screw. I don't know why I'm handing it to it, you this way. <laughs> just like, just take it. Wait, what? What do you? Is a screw? Take the screw. Can I drop it? Okay. Try this hole. Just tell me where I need to put it. Which hole? Mm, top one. Yeah, I'll just stick it out. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my god! Is he my <laughs> I'm actually digging this case. Make sure I actually have video out before we check out the front of the case. Interesting. Move it around. It's a recording. Look, it has like so. There's reset, but I don't know what what is this. Does it pop out? I guess it's for a DVD drive. That's what I was thinking. I still make those. That's really cool though. Look, it's like a. Oh, I bet this. Yeah, it's for DVD drive. Oh, dude, it's a hidden one. That's actually really cool. So then the DVD button would be it. there. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, there's the power. I always forget. What even is? This? Is it the hard drive LED? Or is this like hard drive? Hard drive activity LED. And then this is a reset button right here. Power button. There's two USB ports up top. Microphone. Microphone. Um, audio. Yes, one USB three in the front, and let's flip this around and see what we got going on in the back here. So we have DVI, two USB twos, a PS two port, which is mouse or keyboard, um, VGA, one HDMI. Um, this board does support a maximum of three monitors. They do include that on the case, uh, which is kind of obvious with the ports. And then there's four USB threes at the bottom, which is really nice. Uh, of course, your LAN port and your Ethernet port, and then you have your three main um, audio ports. So, so here's your all's evidence that uh, the PC works. Yes, yeah, so we got it up and running. He's playing Rocket League in the most awkward way possible with a keyboard and mouse and crossed a over. Angle. Uh, but here's the PC. You can tell this cable we have ran from here all the way over to here. But yeah, that pretty much concludes building this PC. Um, just, you know, flip it around vlog style real quick, very awkwardly. Okay. Uh, but that pretty much concludes building this PC. It turned out pretty good, actually. Uh, we didn't kill anything, so that was the main point of this video. If you want to see some benchmarks, leave a comment down below saying... Benchmarks. I was thinking of saying something weird. Um, say potatoes. Potatoes. Say potatoes in the comments. Actually, you made it all the way here. And if you want to see benchmarks... And we will bring you those benchmarks in a separate video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe for more content, follow us on Twitter, join our Discord community. All those links are in the description. If you want any of the parts for this build, those will always be in the description as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.